Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For the people who have already subscribed the channel, and for the people who have recently followed or uh, recently joined the channel, a hearty welcome to this channel. I am Padati Sai Yeshwadhan. I am an electronic enthusiastic electronic engineer who has a good expertise in working with uh, microcontroller units such as Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, uh, Node MCU. Uh, your Raspberry Pi, STM32, Nuclear Board and all and I may on this channel I share my electronic knowledge with you. If you have any doubts related to electronic you can always contact me. Now in today's video let us concentrate on how you are going to install the HFSS software. Uh, to um, Before I begin the video let me give you a uh, uh, disclaimer that Whatever the whatever the way I'm showing today, it is only for the educational purpose, and it is for the people who are who are just doing research and they just want to demonstrate the product or research the research the antenna works. It is not for the people who are professionally working in it. If your company or the firm needs needs to use the HFSS software for day-to-day -day purpose. And if it is a commercial purpose, I feel you should uh, take a license version and you you should use the license version. If you are only working for the research or uh, college work, you can uh, you can continue with this free version. So how to do this? Is that first of all you need to open any of the research uh, search engine. I am using Google Chrome, but you can use my uh, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, any any browser will. In the search engine, you need to type ANSYS ANSYS HFSS uh, student version and uh, the, you need to click on this first thing. Don't, don't worry friends, I will be keeping this uh, link, I will keep a link to the website in the description also for an easy understanding. Now once you have opened the link, you can either go to students and academic to see what the, the different um, so facilities they are providing for students but uh, our thing is only to download this so you can just uh, scroll down a bit okay now you can uh, search anything you can just click on start here and uh, you can just check out what are the things they are providing and the other thing is we need it for a student. You can, if you are only working with uh, ANSYS uh, mechanical thing, you need to install the ANSYS student. If you are working more into the antenna designing and all, you need to go for antenna ANSYS electronic desktop student. Go down a bit and click on download. The moment you click on download, uh, it starts downloading the zip file. Uh, I'm not going to show this. I have already downloaded the downloaded the zip file, so I can I will just show you that. So just let me go to my downloads. In downloads, you can already see that I have downloaded, and it will be a zip file. You need to unzip the. Okay, you need to extract that files. Once you have extracted, you need you can open the folder. Go to this. And in, in the answers uh, zip file, you have your prerequisite. Like if your if your system is not having Visual C++ or the Net Net framework, you need to install them. If it is not there, you you can just go to answers EMSB, go to setup, and then you need to click on yes. And once that is done, your uh, thing will open. Okay, uh, friends, I'm making this video because I got a request uh, for uh, a request for this in my Telegram group. If anyone wants to, uh, if anyone wants to join the group, you can find the link in the description. And also, you can, um, or also, if you want any doubt, if you have any doubts and you want to, uh, you want my help, you can contact me through my mail ID, which is also you find in the description. Now let me click on next. Then you need to click on the license. If you want, you can learn uh, read the license. You can print it and have it a printout and click yes. Then you you can uh, store it in any location and click next. And you can just uh, click on next and it will start installing the 
full. Once it gets fully installed, you can open the open the ANSYS Electromagnetic Student and you can work around it. Now the prob uh, now along with the ANSYS, this I have shown you as a thing, as a whole thing. If you are if you are more interested in working with ANSYS HFSS, you can work with that. But this one it comes in with with all the electronic softwares that are provided by ANSYS. Now uh, I hope friends you I hope you have understood how to install this. This is a very simple steps. If anyone has any confusion, they can um, they can go uh, uh, they can go back uh, in the video, see the step where you are stuck, and you can go on. And if you have any doubts in any step, you can just uh, you can just contact me through my mail ID, or you can use my use the Telegram group where I'm active. And if you have any problem in any other type of electronic projects also you can contact me through my mail id you can uh, join my facebook group also the links to all the social media and this you can find in the description now it takes a little bit of time to install the software okay and i will meet you once the software has been fully installed um, now uh, it has been it took a little bit of time but now it is being uh, the process is almost about to be completed and friend, uh, this, uh, this is a free version that I am showing but the problem is you need to keep on renewing it every year and if you want me to make a detailed video on how you can renew the license uh, do let me know in the comments and I will make that video first let us see let us uh, complete with this ok uh, it, uh, it's almost about to be completed and then we will see and if anyone is having any problem with the project or so they can contact me and I will help them uh, accordingly and uh, let's see and uh, friends sorry I took a little bit of uh, while it is installing let me say that uh, I've been a little out of work I uh, uh, have other works that due to which I couldn't be able to upload any video but now I'm back and I will be you'll be getting videos uh, continuously so let's see and I will continuously you get the videos on different topics in electronics and I'm also trying to make a little bit of programming also so stay tuned for that now let's see okay there are different things that you need it needs installation you need a lot of space because it's installing all the electronic uh, ANSYS files that every electronic engineer or researcher needs at some point uh, so it's always best that you wait for it to complete it complete and then you can work around and also friend, do let me know of your suggestions on what topic should I make the next videos and let's see uh, now, uh, friends, now as you can see that uh, the video is, I mean, the installation is completed and now it is uh, configuring the settings. Once you get the settings, it's, uh, it means that the OS system has a, you may, uh, uh, it may ask me the permission for your system. You can click on allow for the permission. Like it may ask some of the permissions of your laptop. If you want, you can see the things and you can give the permission and click on allow. And once the setup has been finished and you get an end screen like this, just click on finish and you are uh, and you are ready to go. Now let me just close this. Now let me get back uh, to this. See, these are the two things that has got installed. Now let me just open this. See? Okay, you can. You need to click on OK. Okay, uh, and friends, uh, one thing is done. Uh, nowadays, the uh, in the latest version of ANSYS, you need to select the project directory. That is, it is a default directory where your, all your projects, all your libraries will be stored. You can just create a temporary site 
that is this will be your uh, project directory and uh, the below one it's it will be your temporary directory that like sometimes if you want to store your intermediate row you can store it at this location just if you want to create a special location you can create and give that uh, give the path here if you are not you can just click ok and then just um, re uh, this is the just improvement program if you are willing to participate you can otherwise you can just click no and click ok ok uh, that's up to you whatever the option you want to choose you can choose and once that is done your thing is open and uh, it should get opened up uh, real soon Uh, once this is being done, you can. Uh, uh, once you get this screen, that means your system, your software has been installed perfectly. Now you can uh, do anything. Like you can click on Open Project, and you can just go to your H HFSS. Uh, okay, and you can save your file. And you can follow my other videos on uh, how to use the HFSS and continue along. If you have any doubt at any point. You are always free to comment section. Thank you friends. Thanks for giving me the time to explain this. And I'll meet you again in a new video with a new topic. Until then stay tuned to this channel. Bye.